In this video, I want to point out how to draw a concentration versus time plot for a chemical reaction that attains equilibrium. I chose the fourth equation because it has a four in the stoichiometry. And what I'm going to emphasize is how the curves vary from one another in the beginning of the reaction before equilibrium is attained. I'll begin with the reactants at one molar with zero product. And let's see what the curves look like as the reaction proceeds. What I want to point out is how the one of the reactant curves looks like a mirror image of the product curve. And that in the initial part of the reaction, the way the curve changes is very similar for the way the curve changes for the product because of the one-to-one -one ratio between this reactant and the product. But notice how the curve is much more drastic and steep for this one reactant, the reactant with the four in front of it. Because this reactant is decreasing at four times the rate as the other reactant, the, the one in red or the M. So we need to make sure we're emphasizing this drastic change, four times change in the reactant concentration as the reaction proceeds in the beginning of the reaction before equilibrium is attained. I want to point out a couple other items related to this plot. Equilibrium is attained when the curves have become horizontal lines. So somewhere right about here is where equilibrium has been attained at this time. The other item I want to point out is whether this reaction is product or reactant favored. Simply based on the plot, it appears it is reactant favored because and there's a higher concentration of both reactants at equilibrium. But if you were to calculate the equilibrium constant based on these equilibrium concentrations, you would determine the equilibrium constant to be approximately 5.6. And so this reaction at equilibrium is a good example of that gray area where something appears to be reactant favored, but in fact the K value is greater than 1. So this is where we can employ the equilibrium constant scale of 0 0.01 to 100 is indicative of neither a product nor reactant favored reaction. And one other point I'd like to make about this plot is that until these lines are horizontal, the concentrations are changing over time. For example, if we take a look at the black curve when the curve has become a perfectly horizontal line, as time proceeds from any point where it is horizontal, the concentration does not change. Hence, equilibrium has been established. Concentrations remain constant. But before that point, you can see concentration is changing continuously over time. Pick any two points in time, for example. This first point and this second point. At this first point, the concentration is approximately this value, whatever it may be. At the second point in time, the concentration is at this lower value. Pick any two points when the system has attained equilibrium. Here and here. Those two concentration values are identical. 